and welcome to the final episode of Dusselblog. We are in the Channel Tunnel, we're on our way home now, so once we arrive we'll go in the van and then I'll give you a rundown of the highlights for this year. We've arrived at Black Horse Farm Caravan and Motorhome Club site in Folkestone. This site is halfway between the Eurotunnel terminal in Folkestone and Dover Ferry Port, so it makes a great place to stop over after a late arrival or before an early departure. However, if you are coming into the site after 5 pm, you must ring up before 5 to book your pitch. That is very important, otherwise, you probably won't get on the site. If you ring up and book, they will take payment there and then give you access details of how to get onto the site allocate you a pitch and then you can just turn up at your leisure and what's great is they have three distinctive areas one for late arrivals one for early departures and then a third area which is just for people who are here to enjoy the site without people coming and going so i'll put a link to black horse farm caravan and motorhome club site in the description box below and you don't need to be a member to stay here what were the highlights of caravan salon 2017 for me anyway i mean first of all the show itself was absolutely incredible and the great thing as well as all the caravans and motorhomes and everything in between that you could see was all the innovation all the ideas and all the, the great things about caravanning and motor caravanning for tomorrow I mean, it was incredible to see prototypes like the e-home from Detlefs, that was the motorhome covered in solar panels with an electric motor. The s Caravan, the rotating caravan from France with the fold down sides. It was just innovation like that. The, ca the future of caravanning was amazing to see. That is absolutely incredible. And of course, what's also great about a show like Dusseldorf in the middle of Europe is getting to meet all your friends and other people from all different countries all around Europe. I've had some great crack with people from Belgium, from Germany, from Denmark, from Norway, all over. But what about the vehicles on display? What were my personal favourites? Well, yes, of course, I loved the VW California XXL. That was the big news of the show and the interior was absolutely incredible. However, personally, if I'm going to have a VW camper, I want something that looks a little bit better in the landscape. So in other words, the exterior is as important to me if you're going to buy a VW camper as the interior. So it was great as a prototype to show innovation but that wasn't my favourite vehicle. The Detlef's Coco, that amazing caravan with an unladen weight of 638 kilos, employing all of tomorrow's technology to lighten the weight as much as possible. I love the design of it, I love the layout, I love the style, but if you're gonna spec that to a UK spec, and that means have a decent heating system, put in a shower and a decent hot water system, that's probably going to bump it up to about 750 kilos. And if I have a caravan, I do want UK spec. I want to be able to take it off grid. I need a leisure battery. I need a charging system. All this is going to add to the weight. As I say, that would be about 750 kilos. I love the idea of the Detlef's Coco. And I really hope that something that stylish and that light goes into production. But it wasn't my favourite vehicle there. 
The caravan that I would say I would be most likely to buy would be the Canals Deseo. That's that motorcycle transporter with the drop down bed. It had everything that I would personally need, everything from the ability to carry my motorbike to a proper washroom with a decent shower. And the drop down bed, so you don't have a fixed bed taking up space during the day, but you don't have a huge hassle to make up the bed at night. Only one downside as far as I could see with the Canals Desio, and that is, Again, the exterior styling didn't really do it for me, I'm afraid. I'd say the new launch that excited me the most was the Fiat Decato 4x4. That is gonna make 4x4 camper vans accessible. Yes, we have the VW Transporter 4x4 chassis, we have the Mercedes Sprinter 4x4, but most van conversions are based on a Fiat Decato and that 4x4 ability is now gonna widen the market and if I were to buy a camper van, I would definitely consider a 4x4 because you would then not have to worry about getting stuck on a muddy field. So what about my favourite vehicle? The thing that excited me the most at the Düsseldorf show? Well, you will be surprised to hear it's not a prototype. It's not anything extremely fancy or snazzy or headline grabbing and it doesn't try to address the problems of tomorrow what it's done is it's actually taken a bit of an elephant in the room that we've been living with for many years and addressed that what am i talking about i'm talking about the challenger 319 cruise edition motorhome i was blown away by this motorhome simply because Passenger comfort when you're on the road in a motorhome always comes quite low down the list. Yet if you are doing a long trip, and I do do some long trips, if you've got passengers in the back and they're sitting bolt upright in some of those passenger seats, they are not going to be comfortable. Sometimes they don't get a decent view out the window. And then again, you have the issue of there's only one door at the back and depending on which country you're in, that door might not open onto the pavement side. Well, the Challenger 319 Cruise Edition, it addresses all those problems. You've got the four proper seats at the front two doors at the rear so you can turn the seats around in the cab and have a separate lounge area so sort of morning coffee area if you like you've got the proper lounge at the back for sprawling and for eating you've got two drop down beds you've got serious space for two couples or a family of four with grown up children or even younger children it's a seriously good motorhome and that absolutely delighted me so the Challenger 319 Cruise Edition is made by the French company Trigono and they also make this particular motorhome under the Chausson brand and that is labelled the Chausson 711 Travel Edition. Now I don't know if this is going to come to the UK or not, I really hope it does. So if there are any Chausson dealers watching this and you're going to bring in the 711 Travel Edition, please let us know in the comments below. The one way we will find out is if we go to the NEC Caravan and Motorhome Show in Birmingham in the UK and that takes place in the third week of October. And great news is that my buddy Dan Trudgeon is offering some free tickets to go and see the NEC show at Birmingham. So again, check out Dan's video. I'll put a link in the description below and you can win yourself tickets to the NEC courtesy of Dan. So check that out. Dan and I will be there at the NEC show in October. So we'll be bringing you more news of UK launches, UK product. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, please check out the YouTube channel for Caravan Gossip because the team from Caravan Gossip, the Hardham family, they've just set up a YouTube channel. It's really good. It's following their adventures caravanning and bringing new product launches. Now the Hardhams went to the Lawns show in Hull. That happened last weekend while I was still overseas. So they have got some footage about that and Ian tells me they're gonna start putting that footage up towards the end of this week. So if you want a little bit more UK specific caravan and motorhome news, check out Caravan Gossip. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. 
give them a bit of support. They've always supported me and my channel, so it's lovely to be able to ask you to support Caravan Gossip back. Right, so that wraps up this series of Dussel Vlog. Thank you so much for your company, for your support, your lovely comments. It's really given me a boost along the way. We'll be vlogging again. Stay tuned to this channel too. Subscribe if you don't already. And I look forward to meeting some of you at the NEC. We've got lots of news to bring you. As you may have noticed, I've hit a milestone with YouTube. So the next vlog will be celebrating that, thanking you lovely people, and also telling you what we're going to be up to so stay tuned to us subscribe if you don't already give it a thumbs up if you liked it and it just leaves me to say from me and from Dougal smile Dougal thanks for tuning in <laughs> <laughs>